So for many of you in BookTube, you probably have a book that you've read in the past that maybe impacted you in a certain way or you really enjoyed it. And then as time has gone on and you've got a little bit more separation from having read that book, you start to think, you know, I kind of want to read that book again. I really want to read that book again. And in another video on this channel, I talked about a book that fits that description for me. And that's One on One by Tabitha King, which is actually the book that really inspired me to want to start writing. Uh, in addition to really inspiring me to want to read more books as well. And so that was one that's really special to me. And I do intend to read that one again uh, in the not too distant future. Uh, I think I'm going to have some opportunities coming up in the next couple of months where I'm going to slide uh, that book into my reading list uh, to kind of refresh my, my memory and uh, maybe even to add a little bit more fire to the passion because again, that was a book that really inspired me a lot. But I wanna talk about another book that I really enjoyed reading years and years and years ago. And I've been waiting for an opportunity to read it again. But unfortunately the copy that I had uh, got beaten up pretty bad and it was in pretty rough shape. So I had been scouring the internet looking for a, a cost effective replacement copy and I finally found it and the book that I'm talking about is Bad Desire by Gary Devin and again this is a book that I read a number of years ago uh, probably like 20 years ago maybe longer ago than that and it was a book that I was really excited about and uh, I read it and I just thought you know this is really good and uh, I'm looking forward to uh, reading it again as I said just uh having gotten this other copy of it. So I'll just read a little bit of the inside cover just to give you a little bit of a glimpse of what this book is about. Rachel Buchanan knew. She knew as clearly as she knew the terrain of her beloved garden that Mayor Henry Lee Slater was after her granddaughter, Sheila. Since she had discovered Sheila was meeting Slater in secret, Rachel had resolved to put a stop to it. She would expose him for what he was to the citizens of Rio del Palmos and to his wife. But Rachel underestimated the obsessive nature of Slater's desire. He could not and would not give up the girl, nor could he run the risk of Rachel telling what she knew. So it's really uh, kind of a, you got kind of like a Lolita thing kind of going there. So you got a mystery and uh, you got... Uh, maybe something else that's going on behind the scenes of, of what uh, is the, the true motivations for all of the parties involved. And so you've got three uh, key characters that are, are really kind of the basis for this book. And so I'm really excited about it. It's a, actually a pretty unique cover right there with the, uh, the black rose and it's bleeding right there and it's kind of wilting there. So it's kind of a basic cover in a lot of ways, but yet it's uh, a really uh, kind of a descriptive cover of a lot of things maybe that are, that are going on with the story. So uh, really, uh, really interesting there. I'm going to read a couple of, uh, name authors on the back um bad desire is a very good read a fine psychological thriller mary higgins clark um who passed away um not that long ago and then here's another one uh ira levin another author that i've read before and uh, would like to read some more again in the future ira levin says simply three words gripping and suspenseful so those are some um some of the reviews for this book. And again, it's a, it's a little bit of an older book that um, I, I read uh, many years ago. I want to say I read it in the early 90s. I think I read it in uh, the summer of 1992, and it says this book uh, was copyright 1990. So uh, I think I read it after it had been out for a couple of years. So summer of 1992, I was working as a camp counselor, actually, uh, which is kind of interesting, and uh, that's where the book actually got damaged. The original book that I had uh, was damaged. So... Um, yeah, it's just something I'm really excited about reading this book again. It's uh, Bad Desire by Gary Devin, and uh, it sounds like one that's going to be uh, uh, one that I'm going to enjoy kind of going back down memory lane and reading this book and uh, maybe uh, get a little flavor for the uh, maybe for the late 1980s and 1990s, early 1990s in this book. So looking forward to rereading this again. So that's uh, one from the uh, garage that I had, a bunch of books in the garage that I've uh, been wanting to uh, pull out there and organize and uh, begin to read again to kind of start to put a dent in the collection of books that I have. 
but have not read. So adding this one to the TBR uh, as a throwback book from a book that I read years ago and want to uh, become reacquainted with. So Bad Desire by Gary Devin, one that's coming up on my TBR.